Before you begin, clean the area around the cap, Red Arrow. Even though you are removing the reservoir, you do not want dirt or debris getting into the fluid and possibly the lines. This is especially true if you are replacing the master cylinder and going to be reusing the reservoir. Remove the cap and check the condition of the gasket on the level sender, red arrow, and replace as needed. Use a turkey baster or fluid pump and suck out all of the brake fluid you can. Remove the supply line from the clutch hydraulics from the reservoir and set it aside, red arrow. You do not need to disconnect it from the clutch master cylinder. You can now simply pull the reservoir from the master cylinder with your hands. The reservoir is held in place by two rubber grommets, red arrows, in the master, so you may need to wiggle the reservoir while you pull it out. If you are planning on reusing your reservoir, make sure to check for cracks and splits, especially around the spigots and seams, red arrows. When removing the brake lines, you should use the proper tool, which is an 11mm flared nut wrench that fully wraps around the brake line nut. If you use a standard wrench, there's a high chance of rounding off the corners and permanently damaging the hard brake lines. These fittings are not very strong and will become stripped if you don't use one of these wrenches. Use the 11mm flare nut wrench and remove the three brake lines, red arrows. When you are reinstalling them, always start threading them by hand until they are well seated. These have a tendency to cross thread and strip easily, so take your time and make sure you're doing it correctly. Using a 13mm socket, remove the two mounting nuts, red arrows. You can now pull the master cylinder out from the brake booster. Whether you are reinstalling your master cylinder or installing a new one, always make sure you replace the gasket between the master cylinder and the brake booster, red arrow. Note, your new master cylinder should come with a new gasket. If you are replacing the master cylinder, the new one will come with new grommets already installed, yellow arrows. It helps to put a little clean brake fluid on the reservoir when seating it in the new master cylinder. Swap over the proportioning valve to your new master cylinder, red arrow. Now is a good time to check the condition of the brake booster. This one has some damage from spilled brake fluid, but nothing a little sandpaper and paint can't fix. Just make sure to tape everything off well as you don't want paint getting into the booster or brake lines. Installation is the reverse of removal, and you will now need to completely bleed the brake and clutch system. Please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. Do not attempt to drive the vehicle until you have properly bled the system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.